left in the game. It is a lightweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Yancey Medeiros. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, Yancey Medeiros. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. A good sequence of kicks there by Lee. Oh, huge spinning kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, 
under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Strong defense there to block the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he caught the kick. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that right hand is on point. They continue to exchange. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Madeiras gets stung by that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Good punch land. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. And round number one, have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Counters with that inside leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Right punches there. Oh! Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Medeiros. Big leg kick land. Medeiros' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice punch there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that... Oh, oh, he's on the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, nice punch there by Medeiros. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denial. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Medeiros' knee to the body looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is blocked. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Oh, wow. Huge head kick.
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Swing and a miss by Yancey Medeiros. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happened with the very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see. Oh! Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Medeiros is playing in the This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Well, that left hit. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Knee to the body. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Flush right hand is true. Nice counter right hand lands for him. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh! Oh! Straight up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the night.